Welcome to another Mr. Long teacher tip and this is a very easy little tip that can help you. In our previous video we looked at how we can find images on Google uh, that have a transparent background so that way we don't have to worry about this like blue part over here if we wanted an image that didn't have that. We just wanted a plate with some apples. So you can go look for images that have a transparent background and that's first prize. But maybe you really want to use this image. This is the image I want to use. It's perfect. Um, and I want to somehow get rid of all this background. I don't like it. Um, I would like it to go away. So how can we edit this image so that we can have no background? Now, you don't need a special image editor. There are some tools available to you in Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in most of the Office packages. And all you have to do is we're going to click on the image. So let's click on it. And when you click on it, you have access to the picture format. And when we click over there, we can see there right on the left hand side there's remove background so let's look at what happens when i click on the remove background when i click on it it will try to determine which part we want to remove and you can see it's it's actually not done it very well it's like it's removed like a lot of the parts that we want to keep anything that's in purple is the parts that will disappear so we need to do some modifications to this to get exactly the image that we want. Now you'll notice here we've got some extra options. We can mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove. So we want to keep this and we want to remove that. And then we can discard all changes and we can keep our changes. So we're going to have to work a little bit here with this image. So I'm going to actually make it a bit smaller so we can see it. Okay, so there we go. So the, the, you can always click on it on this and drag the, the size of what you want to, what, what part of the image that you want to crop in that. I'm going to cl start clicking on areas I want to keep. So when I click on areas I want to keep, it's, I can now, I can click once and it'll put a little plus sign and it'll try to predict that particular color and add it on and to make sure that color is now visible. That's one way, but it's going to take me a very long time to make all these little dots. So what I can do is I can actually just draw a line. I actually want all of this to be to keep. So you can actually just draw a line like that and it'll keep all of that. And I also want a bit of that. It's going to try to predict what we want. So I'm going to keep doing things like that. And it's already recommended some stuff. Hey, it's, it's done some very nice things. So let's say I do a little bit of that. So now we can start to see that we get in the image that we want. Now, if by some chance, let's pretend like it's, it kept that and I really don't want that little part there, then I can click on areas to remove and then I can actually draw a line on that to remove that part. And it's left a little bit there. I want that gone. I want to take all of that away. There we go. So now we've got a better idea of the image that we want. I think that I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to click on keep changes. And so there we go. There we've got our lovely little image over there. Obviously the text is moving around it, but we can crop this and so on. So we can crop this a little bit more and get exactly the image that we want. I'm going to rotate it so that it looks a bit nicer. There we go. And we can move it around and so on. So there we go. So let's say we want it to look like that. So there we go. So now we've got a lovely little image where we've taken the background out. And all we need to do is just a little bit of modification. So you remember, you click on the image, go to picture format, and there the remove background. Just a reminder, you mark the areas you want to keep. You mark the areas that you want to remove. Okay, so there we go. That's as easy as removing the background of an image. For more teacher tips, go to our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment so that we know what videos you want us to make for you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.